But my position is that the reason there is a lack of efficacy research in this field is partly because the assessments we are typically using do not provide us with task performance information in the areas we are treating. What's Next has been designed with a specific testing protocol that not only provides information about the performance in specific vital tasks, but allows the clinician to build goals around the tasks that are tested and retested with increased and improved performance expected. If you remember, I was doing research to try to figure out how we can best help our patients, test what we are treating, treat what we are testing, and prove that once and for all, our treatment is effective. And so I kept stumbling upon literature that espoused the benefits of routine. In both professional literature as well as lay literature, I saw it everywhere, and I wondered, what about routine is so helpful? I read things like, Routines and schedules can help you maintain independence. You mean my patient can be more independent than they are by using a routine? Hmm, and this. The relieving nature of routine can be more potent for people suffering with Alzheimer's disease and those with dementia. You mean perhaps negative behaviors can be diminished with the use of routine? And even caregivers can help someone feel more comfortable by establishing a constant daily routine. You mean I can help relieve caregiver burden by using routine? And this, routines help the person with dementia know what to expect and help her do things on her own. Doing so will make her feel better about herself. Did you say doing things on her own, really? Like what things, I wondered. Is it possible to teach someone to do things on their own by using routine? These were the questions that helped me to develop the program of what's next. I was determined to figure out how and why routine was so helpful and this begged the question, what exactly is routine? And is it possible to build an effective therapy protocol around it? And if it is so helpful, why? Routine, a sequence of adjacent actions performed over and over in a set pattern. In virtually every website, in lay literature as well as professional literature, the word routine is stated as a grounding force in the lives of people with dementia. I realize that all three disciplines have been using this term for a long time. I've even taught many patients and families about routine. I taught them that routine provides predictability and comfort to our confused patients. But I began to question why. I thought, if we can figure out why routine is helpful, perhaps we can figure out how to teach our patients to perform new tasks by working them into the routine they are already performing. Maybe we could even create a new routine involving new tasks, tasks they are forgetting to perform on a daily basis. Tasks that increase or better yet restore our patients' level of independence. Could these new tasks become part of their new routine and effectively improve independent performance of vital cognitive function in the home? And so began an ex post facto research study. The reason that adults with dementia don't respond well to directions like take your medicine every evening is because that's a time-based perspective memory task that actually falls in the domain of declarative memory or language-based. I learned that event-based perspective memory tasks are far more likely to be retained than time-based perspective memory tasks. For instance, if I ask my patient to get his mail every day in the afternoon, it's far less likely to happen than if I say, go get your mail when you hear the bell jingle on the mailbox. I learned that a task that is preceded by another event is far more likely to trigger the next event than a time-based perspective cue. And this is the core of the What's Next program. We use event-based perspective memory, tapping into procedural memory centers of the brain to bypass the declarative memory centers of the brain, to teach patients new tasks or to perform old tasks more consistently. Eventually, these event-based routines become habit and the patient begins to perform tasks they weren't performing at the initial evaluation. The key to all this is that, and this is the most important part, it's that all the materials that you need to do this new routine need to be in the same spot. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be eating your dinner and you're gonna be able to see your calendar and see the medication. 
And so immediately after you're done dinner, before you get up from the table or breakfast, you're gonna take your medicine and you're gonna check your calendar, okay? Or you're gonna check your calendar and take your medicine. But the key is you're gonna do that before getting up from the table. Here's the routine worksheet with both the current morning and current evening routines filled in. Okay, now I'm going to place the new tasks where I think they belong. If you remember, it is more likely that our patients will perform and retain their new task when performed immediately after a task that has already been established. That's the event-based perspective memory. So we will decide which current task is being performed consistently and place our new task immediately adjacent or after that one. So I've placed the new tasks in the morning, one after the other, after the morning meal, and did the same thing for the evening routine. And because he has done so well thus far, we can add a few more goals to his routine and continue the What's Next program. If this is a reassessment, we can now justify continuing services because his objective scores most definitely improved. We have measured progress. It seems like, John, you're doing a great job. Right. Um, Good. And it, it seems like you're really taking to this program very well. And the whole idea is that once you have a routine set that you basically bypass any memory centers in the brain and you just do the things you're you're doing in the routine that you're learning by habit and um, it seems like he's doing that right now yeah he's doing great <laughs> that's nice. awesome I'm so glad to hear it so um, it is time to pick two more goals Okay. So what I was thinking is that because the doctor has been telling you to drink more fluids, then maybe we can work in a drink of water or two throughout the day in, your, in a new routine. Does that sound good? I, I think so. Good. Can you drink two glasses of water extra a day if they're in a certain time of day? I'll try. Okay. <laughs> That's good.